The tertiary institutions were directed by the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission to increase their fees by 15%. Some student groups argued that some public tertiary institutions had increased fees more than the approved percentage. Secretary of the University of Ghana branch of the University Teachers Association of Ghana, Professor Ransford Jampil, justified the decision by management to charge an accumulated percentage. Over the years, government funding to the school has been very inadequate and always been in huge areas. The fees charged have also been very unrealistic and ridiculously low. So for two academic years, we didn't charge the fees that were approved by Parliament. Now, December, we received directives from government that we should increase fees by 15% on the already approved rate. And this is what we have just done. Mm. Just gone for the approved fee with the 5% increment and then increased it by the government directive of 15%. The Deputy Director General. Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, Dr. Ahmed Chinapo, gave a hint of a meeting to resolve the issue. The engagement is taking place. Mm. Uh, we'll be meeting uh, the vice chancellors of Kwan and Kuma University, University of Ghana, University of Education, Winneba, University of Cape Coast, and UMAT on Thursday, 10 o'clock at the minister's conference room. We think that uh, there will be uh, some kind of uh, solution to this issue. Mm. Uh, we call on the students to remain calm, and we also uh, call on management to be more or less, uh, I mean, there shouldn't be any form of panic. I think mm. this issue is resolvable and uh, we are going to resolve it. According to him, the universities cannot unilaterally charge more than the approved fees. Our position is that uh, if there's any variation that needs to be done, reference needs to be made to the schedule, which is the Fees and Charges Act 1018, 2022. It gives the baseline for which each institution needs to increase the 15%. Mm. If there's any variation, I think that variation must be informed by that baseline. Those that have been charged beyond the 15%, I think there's an avenue for that to be remedied. The bottom line is that the 15% will not be allowed to move beyond. Meanwhile, the Pro Vice Chancellor in charge of academic and student affairs at the University of Ghana, Professor Gordon Awandari, has blamed the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission for the confusion of the increment in the facility user fees by the university.